Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Dinah Crime Prevention Fund. Welcome to Beyond the Badge, a program about the inner workings of the Dinah Police Department. Thanks for joining us. I'm Officer Brian Hubbard. Earlier this fall, two Edina residents fell prey to what's known as the grandparent scam, in which a con artist calls and pretends to be a grandchild in trouble. In early September, a grandfather received a call from a man claiming to be his grandson who was crying and said he was in jail while on a trip in Mexico. He said he needed $1,800 wired to him to make bail. Another man then got on the phone claiming to be the grandson's lawyer and repeated what the grandson had said. The grandfather heard his so-called grandson's plea and wired the money from a Walmart moneygram in Eden Prairie. Later that afternoon, the grandfather received another call from the so-called lawyer asking for an additional $1,900 because his alleged grandson was on the stand for drugs they found in his car. The grandfather complied. It wasn't until the third visit to MoneyGram when the alleged lawyer had asked for $7,800 to be wired that a manager at MoneyGram pointed out to the grandfather that he was most likely being scammed and advised him to stop wiring money. The grandfather was able to get in touch with his grandson's mother to find out that her son is safe at college and hadn't taken an impromptu trip to Mexico. Later that same month, an Edina grandmother received a similar call from her so-called grandson who needed $1,000 wired to him in Canada, where he was allegedly being held in jail for having drugs found in his car while crossing the U.S.-Canadian border. The man asked her not to tell anyone because he was embarrassed. Fortunately, the grandmother shared information about the call. On the way to wire the money, a friend of the grandmother's told her that it sounded like a scam. Once they arrived, an employee at Action Check Cashing in Hopkins also told the grandmother it appeared to be a scam. After thinking about it, the grandmother agreed that it didn't make sense and never wired the money. The uh, fellow, the sheriff that, that talked to me from Canada said, um, uh, this is going to go on, on Colin's record, and he said, we can change that by uh, sending it internationally. He said, now you're going to be filling out some forms when you get to the Western Union, whatever it was. So then when I got home, I sat down and I thought, you know, I think this is really a, a scam. And the red flag starting to come at when I, when I was listening to what, what that was being told, I thought, this is a scam. Edina Crime Prevention Specialist Molly Anderson warns residents to resist the urge to act quickly in such situations. The grandparent scam typically features the following characteristics. The call is always an urgent emotional appeal. Sometimes a second person posing as a lawyer or police officer will contact the victim to lend more authenticity to the hoax. The grandchild doesn't want you to tell anyone because he or she is embarrassed or claims the situation is a mistake. Threats of something terrible happening to the grandchild are made unless money is wired immediately and often overseas. It's successful because it's emotional. And what grandparent wouldn't do anything for their grandchild? There's urgency to it. It has to happen now. I'm in jail or whatever the situation is. I'm hurt. So all those things together, I think, combine to make it a very powerful. It has a, a big impact on an older person, actually on anyone of any age. If you receive a call like this, be sure to report the incident to local police and include the phone number that comes up on your caller ID and any other information about the call or caller you may have. 